Hey everybody, welcome back to PBI Radio. It's Chris Guns, and I'm about to be joined by Orlando Del Valle, possibly the next superstar from the beautiful island of Puerto Rico, and the fight's on between Orlandito and Victor Chinian, September 29th. This is going to be a, a big test in the career of Orlando Del Valle, as Victor Chinian is, is a former champion. And fought everybody in and around the weight class. Darchinian's really experienced. So this is definitely going to be the toughest fight in his young career of uh, Del Valle. And we're going to see how he feels going into it. So let's go ahead and get Orlandito Del Valle on the phone right now. Orlando Del Valle. How'd you hear about the fight with Vic Darchinian? Man, we're excited. We're ready to go. Can't wait for September 29th. We already started training camp. And, you know, it's a big step up in competition, but we, we was going to do this. We were built for this, and, and September 29th, the World of Bucks is going to be a, a new a, a prospect soon to be a world champion and they make it. And it, you mentioned how it's a big step up. How ready How ready do you think you are for someone as experienced as Vic, Vic is? Obviously, you think you're ready because you took the fight, but... I am ready. I am ready. You know, I'm physically. I will be physically ready. We we are in the first phase, the first phase of, of training camp. We will be ready um, coming in 29. But I've been mentally prepared for for this. You know, um, ever since I thought I, I, I was a little kid, I always wanted to be a boxer. I always wanted to to be in a, in, a, in a spotlight, and and the time has come. And this is something that. We've been working for it for, for a long, long time, and, and, and we've been ready. Yeah, you, got, you got the advantage of having to see Vic fight for so many years. In terms of Vic's skill set, you have to admit that he's a threat. What, what do you see as his strong points? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You have to admit that Vic is a threat. What do you see as his strong points? I mean, he is definitely a threat, and everybody that steps in the rim will be a threat. Um, but, but, but Vic is, is a high, high threat. He got, he got the experience. He been there before. He done it before. It's gonna be just another regular day for him. But, but hey, we this is what like I said. This is what what, I, what I've been working for. It. And um and big and big is you know he's just he's just a, a, another step in the way, another stepping stone on the way for me to to, to achieve my goal is to become a world champion. Mm -hmm. And how about what makes Vic beatable? I'm sure that, that you sat and watched him fight and thought about what it's like to fight Vic. What did you imagine when, when you're imagining fighting Vic Darshinian? Well, they don't call him the Raging Bull for nothing. So mm -hmm. I know he will be coming forward. He, he will be coming forward. He will be trying to put the pressure on me. And I'm going to be prepared for that. And I'm also gonna be prepared in case you wanna, you, you wanna, you feel like you wanna box. You know, I'm the type of fighter that if you wanna box, I walk you down, I put pressure on you. And if you trying to bully me and trying to put pressure on me, I take you to school and I'll box you, kind of punch you. And I will be prepared for whatever big brings to me. But watching him fight, I know he's gonna try to come and put the pressure on me in the early going because I know in his mind he knows that I haven't find somebody else on his level. And he's going to try to come and set the tone, and that's going to be his mistake. And you already started training for Vic. Are you going to train any different, any harder for this fight? I mean, I'm preparing, I'm just, I'm, we preparing real aware of who we're fighting, but the way I look at it, this is just another, this is just another fight. Mm -hmm. And we're training very hard. We're working on, um, um, we work, we're working on, on speed angles. And our counter, our counter punch game has to be on an eight, on an eight, on an eight game that night because we're gonna, we, we're gonna use it. We're gonna, we, we, we really gonna need it because um, Vic, like I say, he's gonna come forward swinging wild and try, and try to bait me on the road and and and, and set the tone. But I'll be ready. Yeah, I like how you sound. You sound like you, you, you know, you're, you're gonna be in a fight. Now, as we look. At the deep super bantamweight division, there really isn't much of an easy fight in the top ten. Everyone has their own tools, and there's, everybody in the super bantamweight division has their own tools and 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 good things that that they have, and good assets. What do you think of, of Nonito Donaire and the Jeffrey Matabula fight a couple of weeks ago? Who? What do you think of it? I mean, I'll tell you the truth, um, Donaire, Donaire, I'm proud of him. Donaire was the strong fighter, but 
don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not too much too impressed. Like, I'm not too impressed with the mayor, like, the press and, and, and a lot of fans are, you know, he, 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 he gives it to him, you know, and, and, and he don't look like he, he had, he had the power that he had before at 122. And, and you know, he's beatable. The thing is that he always comes in the A game and, and, and he's always willing to put up a fight and that's what really making him say him, just say him. And about my tabula, he was, he was just, he was just wasn't strong enough to deal with, with, with Nonito, especially and power. Yeah, then we have Abner Mares. Your thoughts on Mares? Well, Mares is a, it's a great, great and a very entertaining fighter. Uh, I, I know him since the amateur. We, we, bumped, we bumped in different tournaments when he was fighting at the 119, at 119 pounds for, for Mexico. And... And we have mutual respect to each um, for each other, and, and but but you know this is a business, and and I would like to to one day write down in the, in the history book some 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 type of, of, of rivalry between Mexico and Puerto Rico that has been going on for for the longest, and 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 hopefully one day I could I could bump in, into him and make and make history with 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 uh, the Valle and Mare, um fight. So you want in on that that legendary rivalry? You want to be a part of it too, huh? I want to be part of it, and, yeah. and I know Marius could be could be could be in the way, and and, and if it happens, you know, mm -hmm. I know it's gonna be a great night for boxing where where the, the people the people that are really gonna going to win the night was gonna be the fans, and and and, I, and and of course me because I know I will be on if eventually we get to 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 face each other. And you said it. It's definitely gonna be a great fight. There, there's good fighters like Punsawa Crackling Dengjim and Akafumi Shimoda from Japan. But they don't seem like they're willing to travel, though. But we know that a fighter like Toshiaki Nishioka is willing. He, he came to America and, and he fought Rafael Marquez in his last fight. What do you think of Nishioka, if, if anything? Did you see him fight yet? Uh, um, that's, that's the South Pole from Japan, right? Yeah, yep. Oh, well, there's another fighter that that I that I watch him. Um, like I say, you know, I, I know I have the tools. I'm a very very smart fighter in the ring, and 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 I, I watch him. And, and he he's a southpaw, but he, he's also beatable. You know, he when he when he throws and and when he brings his back his hands back, he, he always lifts them down. So you have, you you have to you know make him commit. If, if you if you don't fall into his into his fight and you make him commit, you know. You know, I, I have the speed to 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 counter that. So, you know, he's another fighter that that he's been he's been on the winning track for for like I think it's like six years or, or maybe some some somewhere around there. And and I, and you know, he's 35 years old, or 36. So mm -hmm. he's another maybe on the way out. So I got the youth. I got I got I got the hunger to win. And you know, after this fight, I know I have a very tough fight. But after this fight. Whatever comes on board, as long as my manager Raymond Rivera, I'm a promoter Lou Vela, you know, gets to gets to an agreement where every, every party involved is, is is happy. I'm in because I'm just up for for give, to give the fans whatever what, what they deserve, and there's nothing but fireworks. Yeah, that's why we can't help but root for you. And last but not least, what would a what would a Del Valle Rigando fight look like? Got to be impressed with Rigando. Well, um, I, I honestly, um. um I believe that, uh, that the meant to be at the 122 pound division is Rigo is Rigo now because of, of the extensive amateur career and, and and you know he's a master a master in the ring but he's another fighter that if you watch the fight when he fought for the WBA interim interim title he fought against this Mexican that I believe his last name was Cordova you know Cordova put pressure on him pressure and pressure and pressure and and, and 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 he tried to go back to the amateurs and at the end of, and at the end of the night he, he he was you know they say pressure bus pipes and he was busting but he got a, he got ahead on the early, on the on the score press in the early going and, and Cordova couldn't keep up so I believe that Cordova is posing if you you manage to to get to to, to put enough pressure to uh, Rigo from the early going and, and make him fight and make, and make it make him mix, you know he's gonna play off and, and, and late, you know in the deep rounds and and, and if a fight comes through, I'm, I'm telling you I'm gonna be putting pressure on him to the desk, you know from the dressing room. Yeah, yeah, I like that you keep your your eye on your competition. I like that. I like that man. 
and, and looks like looks like the beginning of some must-see fights in the career of Orlando Del Valle. Thanks for your time, and good luck, Orlandito. Appreciate it. All right, thank you, and, and you know, everybody out there, you know, please to tune up on, on September 29th to watch uh, Fire on HBO, and if all the fans want to follow my career a little closer, they could, they could hit me up at Orlandito Box, you know, on Twitter, or Orlando Del Valle on Facebook, and it will be my pleasure to keep everybody updated whatever is, is going on in my career. That's right. So you're hands-on and you, you like to communicate with the fans. Thank you, Orlando. Yeah, I'll, I'll be there. I'll be there in person watching you, rooting you on. All Thank right, you, I'm man. looking forward to meet you. All right. God bless Take you. Take care, and thanks for calling. All right, man. We'll see you. Right. Good luck. All right. There you have it. Orlando De Valle, ready for the biggest test of his career. Vic Darchinian, Foxwoods Resort, Casino, I will be there. That is a can't miss fight. And I want to thank Orlando for joining me uh, for this segment on PBI Radio. And follow me on Twitter at Chris2Guns. Thank you.